In this quick video guide, we will see how we can import Rhino 7 file inside Unreal Engine 5, the latest version, which is still an early access, but we can already use it to create our scenes here and, well, try to experiment a little bit. So first of all, you need to have Unreal Engine installed. So you have to download and install the Epic Games Launcher and then install, download and install the UE5 and then click here to launch it. And if you don't know how to do this, you can check out the video guides in our channel, which will explain everything. Now, once you have finished to do this, you have to start the engine and you need to select a scene where you want to place your uh, files, your Rhino files. And well, this is going to take a little bit because it's going to, there you go. So let's just wait a few seconds. Okay, so here you need to select, for example, if you're doing product design or industrial design, usually if you work in Rhino, you're probably creating product design, things like that. But you can also use this for architecture. Now, in my case, I've selected the Archivis template. So this one is going to have this architecture already inside, but you can select it and delete it with the delete. And well, I just kept everything as it was and just click on create and this is the scene that you are looking at right now you can see a uh, rhino model well it has some issues with with some uvs but well as always you need to work in an appropriate way in the software already before even getting into unreal engine so you can see here some of the materials and textures are looking fine but something is not really going in the good direction so here I can see those materials on the top they're looking fine but others are like missing textures and missing um, the UV maps basically so be careful to to fix everything before getting into Unreal Engine so you probably know how to use Rhino now another thing I have created many different types of modeling in Rhino for example nurse modeling mesh modeling and also sub D modeling, which is the latest version of Rhino polygonal modeling. And they don't work here. They, the NURBS, well, they, these are NURBS actually, but they, you can see that probably because they are simple extrusions. So not everything works when you do the import. Sometimes you need, to, again, you need to convert in meshes because uh, Unreal Engine uses polygons. So let me show you here how we can do this. It's really simple, actually. The first thing you need to check is to go in the plugins and check if your Datasmith plugins are turned on. So if you scroll down, you can see a lot of plugins. Just search for Datasmith. And there you go. So you have, for example, an importer for Cinema 4D or for CAD, for the FBX files. You can also try to export FBX from Rhino and that's going to convert to meshes and polygons as well. You also have GLTF and Datasmith. This one is the most important. Just make sure that they are activated. They should be without touching anything. You, you shouldn't do anything here. Just check if everything is turned on. And then you just need to go to the content menu here and say Datasmith. And now get your file. So in my case, I have this one here. And you can see it's the scene that I am porting, but some UVs are not working good. I cannot see decals. I cannot see advanced effects like the, for example, the um, rounded angles, or this is a sub, well, these are all sub D objects. So many of these don't work here if we don't convert them. And others, they, they won't work. So not everything is going to be imported as you see it in Rhino, but the rest you can work it out later. And especially if you convert them into meshes. So I will open up the same scene here. And well, I'm going to create a folder just not to mess things up. And I'm going to create it in the content. So right click, new folder, and you can call it however you want. Say OK. Okay, now you can see that you can also import materials, lights, cameras. Again, you need to check on these, but I, I can see the lights. 
the lights have been imported, the materials are good, but not the mapping. So here it's also important if you want to import NURBS and tessellate in Unreal or Rhino meshes and UVs. Now let's select this one and say import. Now the import itself is not gonna take too long to build the actual geometry. What usually takes a long time is the materials and things like that. So, uh, well, let's press Ctrl and Spacebar to open up the browser. Now this is the new one, which I will place right here. Okay, now I have two copies actually. Let me slide this over. So you have here the data smith scene, and then you have folders for textures, materials, geometries. If you double click here on geometries, you can see all the different objects. So let's get inside one of these. Well, maybe now there are too many. So be careful there, because sometimes it takes some, some few seconds to import. Now this should look more complete than the other because the other one, the first one that you saw, was not with the conversion in mesh. So it probably didn't recognize most of the NURBS or other effects. And I think I need to slow down my camera. And it's going a bit slow now because I need to turn off something later. OK, just want to show you, this was the first one. OK, and let's slide to the other, the second one. So the first one was with the NURBS option. And this one here was with the conversion of the meshes. And I think this works a little bit better. But I don't see, well, some objects, again, are not recognized. Some of them, maybe we can find them here. For example, I have some furniture here, which I don't see in the scene. So I think it's having some issues with, again, sub these objects and NURBS. But this one here, it's a kind of a sofa and should be visible. It's just that it's not oriented in the correct way. So you probably need to do some fixing as usual. But we're going to keep on studying the Unreal Engine 5 and its integrations with other software so that we can keep you updated. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. And also you can leave your suggestions here or help the other users. Also your questions. So we can see if we can solve some of the issues. But again, this is an early version of Unreal Engine so 5. So I think it's going to be better as we proceed. And well, that's it for this video guide. Please subscribe to the channel, support us. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.